We are live. We, we are, are live. We are live. <laughs> at, at the wine mill. We're at 135 Featherbed Lane in Winchester with David Johnson, owner of the wine mill. We're going to be doing nice. some wine tasting today, talking about the business, talking about the incredible variety of wine that he has here and everything that they have to offer. So, David, how did this all come about? So well, you're pretty new. I, we are new. We were, we're only seven months old. We we're, we're babies in the wine business here in Winchester. <laughs> But we've had uh, a wonderful acceptance of the people who drink wine. So we're happy to know that business is good and we're busy. Um, but quite frankly, we, I, I personally was tired of driving over, back and forth over the mountain. Like a Need, lot of us out Yeah, there. exactly. Yeah. And my son sent, came to me and said, what do you love to do? I said, um, I love the wine business, as you know. And he said, why don't you open something in Winchester? And I thought to myself, brick and mortar? Oh, nowadays, oh, and, yeah. and he said, well, wine is a hand sell, and that's really, it's personal. So I broke the piggy banks and decided to, to open up, and here we are. Here we are. So yeah. what makes you different from all the other, and we, well, we have fewer wine shops than ever, so that's kind of a good yes. thing, unfortunately, yeah. but you are doing different stuff. So. We are. We, it's, it is different. What we like to do is we set up our racks uh, by taste, so when you come in, you already know what you like. You like light reds or medium reds or light whites or medium whites. So the racks are set up that way. Okay. Um, we have tasted all the wines, uh, so all of the Not staff the can tell you exactly, right? <laughs> um, all the staff can tell you exactly what's in the bottle and what's going on. Um, and then we have a Mount Rosé, we have most of our wines, I try to source between the 10 and $20 range, so they don't break the bank. Um, nothing that you see, you'll find in the grocery store. And we have high-end wines that go all the way up to the $200 range. Should special you like occasions. The special occasions, right. exactly. Um, so we, we, like, we like to make wine accessible. Um, we want to talk to you, not over you. Okay. We want to educate you about wine Wonderful. in the easy way. And kind of um, expand what you've been drinking. You know what you like, but right. then move out a little bit. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, everybody, don't get stuck in the Chardonnay or... Or the white Zinfandel. If you want to open up a little bit, let us help you open up. And that's what we're here for. Um, we do offer classes, which is fun. Um, um, tell us about some of that. Um, well, we have we have had a port class, um, a sherry class. Uh, we've had four wine and cheese pairing classes. We've had a walk through Bordeaux. We're all over. Yeah, and so this the is, University of Wine here at the Wine. Kind of. <laughs> and, and what we do is we do it all upstairs. We have a little event center called the Attic. Beautiful space upstairs. Yes. Wonderful. We'll be posting photos. Yeah, we'll have photos on the blog yeah. as well when we're done. Um, I purchased a, a 16 foot tasting table. We have a 10 foot drop down screen with a projector. It's also for rent for people who want to do uh, meetings or people who do events. We've had uh, baby showers, we've had bridal showers, we've had birthday parties. You know, that's all available to people upstairs also. I like the way it looks, and you'll see it in the photos, because it's got, it's got, it, you, you get the, the feel of both. Wood. It's got the natural wood, but you can go up there and have a corporate meeting, and you can have a bachelorette party. I mean, sure. really. And we yeah. are live. I'm not sure who came in. Was it yeah. a... That's our beep beep. Those okay. Are, yeah, that's okay. Those are customers. It's, it's fine. So they might join us on Yeah, when we're we'll live, we, we, we let them take care happen. of the business. That's so. right. <laughs> um, we, we, we really, like I said, we want to take the pretentiousness out of wine. We want to make it easy for people. Um, and whether you're a novice and you're a beginner and you just want to learn how to go to a winery and, and taste wine and kind of know what you're talking about, um, or if you're experienced and you've been doing this a long time and you want to, you know, I can, we can do the whole gamut because we have myself, who I've been in and out of the business, um, Debbie Hottinger, who is a sommelier, mm -hmm. uh, she's a certified sommelier, um, who um, is in the, has been in the business for over 25 years. Um, she works on our staff. Um, and it, it's just, it, it's a great marriage of the, everyone here who, who takes care of stuff for us. We have uh, Melanie Savinas, who takes care of, and there she is right Melody. behind you. <laughs> yeah, you're live, so by good. the way. Hey, Melanie! Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, she, does, she does all the decorations. She takes care of uh, people up front and, and, and selling wine. Uh, Andrew, um, Andy Michaels um, works with us, who came from a place over in Middleburg. And she, you know, and she, so she, she's part of customer service, too. 
So between the four of us, it's just been a really, yeah, really fun, easy yeah. team. Okay, so we're gonna do a tasting. We are. And one of the things is canned wine. Let's talk about canned yeah, wine. Let's talk about that. Since yes. we're live and we've Since got a couple of minutes, <laughs> uh, you can see those. Yep, we got a little bit of a background before we started going live, and it's really, really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Pay attention. All right, so we're gonna talk about canned wines. Canned wines are relatively new in the business. Um, they've been around a little over four years. And canned wines, people go, oh my God, I'd never drink wine out of a can. Yeah, well, you, yeah. you can drink it out of a bag in a box either. <laughs> but here we are. So, guilty. guilty. All right. And, and the, what you want to do is you take, you, you say, okay, this isn't Coca Cola. It's not beer. It's wine in a can. This is a half a bottle of wine. That is a full bottle of wine. Keep that in mind, it guys. Equals, it equals that. Yeah. Okay? And I would not have thought that. Yeah. Like, you, would, you wouldn't think you it for think a You think it's moment. one drink. Right. But it's not. Right, and you're not gonna. Yeah, you don't want to drink that all in one shot. Yeah. Um, but we have rosés, we have pinot gris, we have sparkling rosés, we have red wines, and the, the the cans themselves are lined with a product that I and I don't know what it is because they won't tell me what it is. <laughs> um, but you get no tin taste, you get no aluminum taste, and it preserves the wine. Now, why would you want wine in a can to begin with? Well would be great for going down the river. Yeah. Um, if you are... Yes, I can't really put right. this in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to... Yeah. Your fanny pack. I can put right. the can in my back pocket. Right. Yes. If I just take the one. It's a half a bottle of wine, remember? Exactly. Yes. And, or yeah. um, the people, beach. People at the beach. Yeah. Um, the, by they the call poolside. They call folks. Pay attention. Yeah. yeah take, some, <laughs> uh, take some to the beach with you. Um, so you have no glass. You don't have to have openers. You don't have glasses. Um, right. Keep it on ice and it's good to go. If you want red and you're out by the campfire at night and you're standing around, you can drink it's it you know, right out of the can. And then when you're done, crush it. It's recyclable. Unfortunately, around here, glass is no longer recyclable. No right. yeah. So that's another good thing for them. Um, so the interesting part that, that we uh, had talked about again right before we went live was that when you, when you talk about the influence of advertising and product presentation, it can be a tough Mental. For some people, the mental block yeah. associated Absolutely. with yeah. it, wine doesn't belong in a can. It's just like, you know, you always judged, the used caps. to judge the screw cap on a wine meant somehow it was a lesser, lesser yeah. tasting bottle of wine or lesser quality bottle of wine. And that's just not the case. It's just a different package for you to take it to where you need to just go. Just like exactly. a cardboard box. Exactly. exactly. You just and, have to get through it. And yeah. again, if we're taking the pretentiousness out of wine, we don't get any better than out of right. a can. You know, yeah, let's absolutely. let's introduce it. Let's have fun with it, and it's again, it's for all the markets. It's yeah. wine is not just for that guy anymore. Yeah. Wines, Agreed. people love rosés. People love going out and doing the, the wine tastings. Right. They love the wine dinners. You know that sort of thing. You know, make it easy, make it accessible, and that's yeah. what we're here to do. So now, how long would you say to keep wine that's in a can? That's a very good question. Yeah. I would say that if you're going to buy wine in a can, you're going to drink it within the first month that you have it. Okay. But I'm sure it could last up to six to eight months. Okay. Um, other than that, most of the people that we know. You're not saving this. You're not saving it. I'm not saving it. You're there, it's there to drink. I was right. going to say, most of the people not, we know is not going to stay in there. Not, we're not laying down our can and waiting for right. you know five years to bring it back to life. Right. Um, this is something that they're made to drink now. Okay. Gotcha. So, uh, we can go on with our tasting if you like. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Let's right. do it. So fun. Wine in a can. This right is here my at the first wine, wine in a can. I'm okay. excited. Again, hikers. Great stuff. Um, so what... <laughs> I'm getting out ahead of everything. I'm going to wait for our host to, to, to tell us. He's give us some direction here. All right. All right. Next thing, we're, what we're going to do. I'm going to do... I'm kind of going to go opposite direction. Okay. Here, and we're going to do the red wine first. Everybody go, oh, man, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. But... For me, because we're going to end up with two relatively light wines, and this is a nice big wine. This is a Malbec that was made in France in an area called Cours. It's 100% Malbec, and it's just a very, very beautiful representation. This would be a wonderful wine. We love to, 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 to pair wines with food. Mm -hmm. So if you come in and you say, well, I just want this, what are you doing tonight? Are you going to have pizza? Are you going to have burgers? Are you just going to hang out, you know, and, and have a TV dinner? I got wines to cover everything. 
So this is a I great staple. I want to know what wine goes with a TV dinner. <laughs> I, I do. I've got wonderful wines oh at TV gosh. dinners. Well, that's hilarious. It is. And, and, and I love that. But, but, you know, Stouffer's lasagna or macaroni and cheese go great with some of our reds. And, you know, yeah, I'm a single guy. <laughs> People don't you know, I'm not going out all the time. Right. And, well, it's funny you say that because, you know, it, it, again, with the pretentiousness and, and we're using that term loosely. Yes, absolutely. Because even people like us who are, we're not, especially when it comes I to I mean, I to can wine, be if I want to be. But. We, we, we'd be <laughs> pretending to be pretentious. But, you know, you're always thinking, well, I want to pair it with a particular uh, a steak or a particular well, that, fish. Yeah. And we've and, always thought that about champagne, too. Like, champagne well, oh, yeah. is a wine. It doesn't have to be something, some huge celebration. It's yeah. a wine. Right. Well, and you they, can just have it with dinner. I was going to say, yeah, yeah, the thing is, is that there are going to be wines that go with different flavors like macaroni and cheese. That's Dare right. he right. say yeah. TV dinners. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just it's crazy. It's, when you, it's, it's, it's an al dente pasta with cheese sauce. Hmm. That's macaroni That's, and cheese, right? I got you. So we've got some good wines to go with it. Um, That's great. It's, That's it's how I'm going to explain macaroni and cheese. Al dente pasta with cheese sauce. Al dente pasta with cheese sauce. <laughs> um, you brought up, it's interesting that you brought up champagne mm -hmm. and bubbles. Yes. Bubbles in general, which is what we call them here in the shop, have exploded. As, wow. as well as rosé, which is rosé is a whole different thing. But does, yeah. people are drinking Proseccos and Cavas. These are inexpensive ways to get your bubbles and not have to go to champagne. Champagne is a region Regional of France. France. Right. Yeah. To have it called champagne. And, champagne. Right now. and yes. the price is going to be yes. up here. So you don't have to go that far. You can drink bubbles and you can drink them easily in the $12 to $15 range that are good mm -hmm. and fun and yeah. easy. And they're not the grocery store. No, they're not. Champagne. No, they're not. At, yeah. And I I don't, I'm not knocking wine. Corbell. Or, yes, you know. one of our other, we've done a live at uh, Brode Family Vineyards and mm -hmm. she really educated us. Right. And so it's cool to come into a shop that is serving that's you know, yeah. it's not something you're right. just gonna get at Martin's and that's it all right. tastes the same and now I actually like champagne. I yeah. really did not before. So, Very good. Yeah. Are bubbles or champagne? Well, champagne. Now you like champagne. Yes. You've yeah. got almost like I do, but now like now I you, actually like champagne. champagne. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. The lucky for your, Louis. Louis. Yeah, it's my favorite. Lucky like yes. for lucky like for your pocketbook. I, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> So that's fun. Uh, the next thing I'm going to go to, I'm going to talk momentarily about rosés. Okay. Um, rosés have just taken off in the market. They have, um, this past year, uh, the rosé segment grew 35%, yeah. which is huge, absolutely huge. I'm going to have you rinse your glass out just a moment, and if you would just dump it in that bucket. Yep. Um, and rosés are being made from all over. One of the things that you're going to find if you're local in Virginia um, is that many of the Virginia wineries are making rosés this year because we had such a, a horrible, horrible rain last year. Yeah. Now, it's a kick kiss sort of thing. They're not able to make what they want, but they do get rosés and everybody's drinking them. All right. So, yay, yeah. right? So we can <laughs> yeah. still sell the juice. We can, right. we can make the good wines. They're just not going to be those big reds that we had hoped for. And that sort of thing. So, and we'll give it a year. We're going to get another great harvest next year. We'll go on. Hopefully. So, hopefully. <laughs> Keep our fingers crossed. Um, this is just a little rosé out of Italy. Okay. And. Yeah, I'm never, I don't think I've drank a lot of it. So, I can't say that I'm a fan. We just, I'm a big red fan. And so, we kind of tend towards that. Sure. So. Well, yeah, rosé is a wonder. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say. Going back in the, in the days of, uh, of pretentiousness, you know, I was a big, uh, probably in my 20s, which I'm not going to say how long ago that was, but uh, White Zinfandel um, and, and Rosés, and then people just kind of, I can't explain why, favor, they kind of yeah. fell out of favor and they soured on You didn't want to be seen drinking those. But a White Zin especially. A White Zin, yeah. that, that was the whole thing. Banjo came out with White Zin, yeah. and it, it's still a huge part of the market. Yeah. And the nice thing about rosé is I call them a crossover wine. So people who were drinking white wine that want to go to red wines, or who weren't drinking wine at all, or they were drinking sweet wines and they don't want to drink sweet wines anymore. Right. Most of our rosés, we have them all from all different gamuts, all different um, areas of, of the world, and different tastes uh, in, in varietals. 
we try to, to, to tell people, for the most part, roses are not sweet. Okay? Yeah. No, they, yeah. they're, they're, they're no, going to be, yeah. they're they're going to be, trying. yeah, they're going to be, now, we do, again, we do have a blood orange rosé. We have the, the, the ruby red rosé. Mm -hmm. um, we have a port rosé. So we have some sweeter ones. Right. We have a peach. Um, we're going to do this little strawberry rosé in, in a minute. Um, so we do have different ones. So it changes all over. So it's a nice crossover. Yeah. And it doesn't offend most people. So Yeah, no, it's yeah, not. It's yeah. easy. Even as a big, very dry red wine drinker, it's not offensive. Not at all. And that's yeah. also why the, the wine mill is so good because you can come in, you know, have your, your, he's David Johnson here is telling you. <laughs> There's no you leave your pretentiousness at the door. So if you come in, you yeah, like a dry, yeah. you yeah. like a sweet, you like a white Zinfandel. You, like, you know, yeah. you just come in and the the wall to wall bottles here, and and he can direct you to something that you're going to take home and that you're going to want. Um, last thing we're going to do, which is just sort of fun, this is sort of a little apple blossom. Means the pink and it's fun. <laughs> um, this is a strawberry rosé. So it's going to be flavored with a little strawberry. Yeah, is it going to be a little it's sweet? Free, free, free. It is, but you can smell the fresh strawberry. I'm not strawberry. afraid of sweet wines. I'm saying, yeah. if, if I was just You're, yeah, you have a very sweet uh, tooth, though. I, I, yeah, yeah, I can't do so much sweet as you. <laughs> <laughs> you could just sit with a five-pound bag of sugar. On yeah, that'd be a little tough for me too. <laughs> yeah. Don't let I me forget about sweets so. after. Let's finish up with our our well, we still. <laughs> <laughs> we'll finish up with our tasting because I have a question that's going to go right to my sweet tooth too. All right. So All right. I don't know if you guys can see. It's got, you're mm. kind of far away, but this case back here. I'm yeah, he is Jones. Oh, is he? Okay, yes. well, we got a little something stuff. Right? <laughs> that's for I was sure. going to ask you about the chocolate. I've read about chocolate tasting. So here here in, that in Virginia, there are different kinds of licenses you can get. You, you, there are certain gotcha. stipulations that you have to abide by. And... One of the things as a gourmet mm -hmm. license, we needed to have food, um, but right. our food was, could be prepackaged. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go. We're going to go on to your to, to your to chocolate question. Mm -hmm. um, we sell Virginia <laughs> peanuts. Uh, we sell Greek olive oils and balsamics. Um, we sell shrubs and bitters, and we also sell chocolates. We sell truffles that are coming from Vermont, and they're from a fourth generation truffle maker. They're oh. beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Um, and we also sell some caramels and, and sea salt caramels and yeah there's some caramel. great gift options in here yeah. and i apologize guys that are commenting the we are so is far, too far away. away and i cannot read it <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for commenting yeah. and we'll catch, we'll up catch with you as soon as we get home let us know you're there yeah. though thank you for the thumbs up and everything appreciate it um definitely get down here if you thank haven't you been debbie here. thank you thank you oh, and yeah, see she, it. Awesome. You thank guys you. these are actually fake glasses yeah. So yeah. there you go. They make me Prop look good, glasses. but I cannot see anything. <laughs> this, I, I gotta tell you, it was, it, it was a good segue on the chocolate. I could eat. Oh, with chocolate? This I could eat a tray of those. This is yeah, with delicious. Chocolate, it's this not. Really it's good. not. You know, ridiculous. I don't. I don't think you're gonna be out of luck because I think we can do that for you. Okay. All right. <laughs> I was not trying to influence them. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> this is our calories for this that's evening. Right. <laughs> so. Um, if you come down to the wine mill, we'd love to have you. Um, you can get on our website, which is winemillwink, W-I-N-C, uh, um, dot com, or um, our Facebook page. We have wonderful followers. I think we have we're up to over, over 1,400 followers now. At Wine Mill Winchester. W-I-N-C, yes. yep. And what events do you have coming up? Anything? Um, right now, we have a winemaker who will be in on the 8th, who will be coming in. We try to do something every weekend. So okay. here at this tasting table, um, we're going to have, we do wine tastings. By the way, I didn't mention this. We do wine tastings all day, every day. So awesome. anytime that you drive by and you see us open, we've got something for you to try. Yeah. So um, when you're coming down to Target and Walmart yeah. and guys, yeah. and, stop and, in. It's right here. It's perfect location. Great opportunity to try something new that you haven't yeah. tried before. You've been afraid to try. Come in and see what he's offering. Yeah. Easy stuff, easy stuff. Um, and we have, what other events do we have? We have a Mother's Day of Rosé tasting okay. in May. Um, if you go to our, our Google Calendar, if you go to our website, you can, it'll, it'll say events. You can scroll down to our Google Calendar and see what's going on. Perfect. If you're interested in a paid event, um, it'll tell you about it. Um, most of our paid events run between $20 and $25. 
they sell out early, so if there's something that you see that you want to do, jump on it because we have the limited website. amount of space. Yep. Yeah. Bookmark the website and make a decision right away. You can't yeah. be wishy-washy when it comes to the events at the wine mill. And there you go. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for coming in. We are oh, going to sure. taste the chocolate offline. You can find us at tastewinchesterhistory.com and book a tour at Taste Winchester VA on Facebook. Dave Johnson, come yeah. to the wine mill. Come, come to see the wine us. Mill, guys. All right. Thanks for joining us, we'll everybody. See you Thank you very next much. Tuesday. Appreciate it.